Susan and I am driving and I'm watching the road so don't worry. I just got a coffee and I'm going downtown. I haven't been there in a while to visit my friend Timmy and I love going downtown. I love living where I do in the suburbs but I do miss the city. I'm not sure if I could live in the city. I'd have to have a really nice penthouse <laughs> so yeah I'm going there for the day and we're gonna do the usual go for dinner and hopefully we'll go into some of the stores I could use some uh, window shopping for high-end I love looking at high-end stuff doesn't mean I always buy it I can dream can't I so it's really funny I noticed that my granddaughter's sound box was, you know, full of leaves and full of dirt. And it's sort of like under a jungle gym. So she never went in it. But I noticed on the weekend we went to uh, her grandma's house, her other grandma. She was having a blast playing with the sand. And I noticed there was blue and green sand in that sandbox. So I asked her where she got it. And she got it at Toys R Us. And I asked her, do you want me to do that too? And she says, yeah. I said, what color? She goes, pink. I said, oh, what if I can't get pink? And she goes, pink. I said, okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Hallelujah, I found pink sand. So what I did was I cleaned up her sandbox, dragged all the, bo the uh, bags of clean sand to the yard. I only needed two just to top it off. And then I used um, one bag of pink sand and I bought a couple of toys for her and I added some little diamonds and pearls and she was she was so excited when she saw it. My daughter says like in the morning they let the dog in and she was screaming. She thought maybe like a squirrel got in or something and she said what's the matter? She goes I have pink sand. So she let her out to go play. I was so excited to, to hear about her reaction. And she came in crying because it was a bug. You know what? Get used to a little girl, there's lots of bugs. Maybe I should buy her one of those little bug kits so she can collect them and look at them so she won't be afraid. I told her they're all friends. Now, if it's a big spider, it's not my friend. So, yeah, she came running in. She won't go back in it because of a bug. Um, at least the dog likes it. He was digging a hole in the sand pit for his toys. I just can't win. Just freshening up the sandbox, bought a few things from the dollar store. Here's some glow-in-the-dark butterflies, fresh sand, some new pink sand. Of course, we have to have pink sand, a few sand toys, and the piece de resistance. Some diamonds. I'm not gonna believe this. With all the talking I did, I went the wrong way. I went, I'm actually, I have to go on the 404 and I went the 400. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. God, why does my brain work as good as it used to? I'm just rambling on because I'm driving. But, you know, I know all of you like the home tours and the decorating for all the different holidays, but summertime is difficult because you decorate once and it's like, it stays for three to four months. So there's not much I can show you with decorating. So I just thought these these weekly vlogs would be good, telling you what I do in a week. Tell me if you like these kind of vlogs or videos. I know that you're gonna say I like the decorating, but there's probably a lot of nosy people out there that like to know what I'm doing in a day. I'm not always that interesting. I like watching vlogs, I love them. I like watching what people do in a day, actually more the decorating sometimes. with a drinky poo. Oh, it's strong, Timmy. I'm not used to drinking.
there today's Saturday and I'm off to Cosmoprof here to buy some hair clips and some heat protectant. I'm trying to find an aerosol this time, even though I don't like aerosols, but with the heat protectant, either I've got some that you leave it like a cream, but I need something when I curl my hair to do each individual strand. And I have a pump and all the water sprays that all over me and it's so sticky, I don't like it. So I'm gonna try some kind of a dry aerosol. So I learned something today, cause I'm not a hairdresser and I have the weirdest hair on earth, but um, I bought a really good product by Redken for heat protectant and I kind of listened to all the YouTubers out there and I wasn't sure how to do this. So they were saying to use one styling cream, heat protectant cream to blow dry and then after it's dry you use another heat protectant like a spray on each strand of hair and it wasn't working for me it was I was getting like the sweat stickiness on my each strand I mean I want to use the whole bottle <laughs> so forget it so I went to Cosmo and I talked to the one of the salon uh, stylists there and they said I was using it wrong so just to spray it on my wet hair and you don't really have to do two steps, he says, because this is a memory, a memory heat protectant, he said. So I'm gonna show it to you. It's by Redken, it's well known. It's called uh, 22 High Hole Thermal Spray Hot Sets. So I'm gonna give it a try. So I thought I'd uh, have a little peek at Michael's and take you along with me. So it looks like the color scheme for this fall is going to be actually a few of my favorites. That rusty color, the blush and the green and the sage greens. I know it's early and I'm not interested in fall or Halloween at all. I'm still living my summer life and I went into Michael's and I think I was just going in there to find something for my living room and lo and behold fall all over the place so I thought I'd take a look and here's what I found and actually you know I don't really go into Michaels that often I'm usually a home goods home sense Marshalls kind of girl but they had a lot of nice things this season and I'm actually really liking it now I still find that Michaels is kind of expensive if you get a sale with a 40% off then it's doable and here's also here is a tablecloth that matches that pillow I love 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 this color scheme I love artichokes and they even have dishes I think I saw an artichoke at home since the other day but that was quite costly too it was a tiny little ceramic artichoke and it was like $30. So this season I'm going to have to find some artichokes. These ones were okay, but they were still $10 each. I am thinking maybe Amazon. They had a lot of pumpkins already. These kind of, I don't even know what they're called. They're not really rattan they're soft it's sort of like a woven pumpkin and they had different sizes and i like the little sign the little labels they had on them they were really cute this one was really sweet because it was flat it would be really cute on a book
a lot they had a lot of plates um, some bowls and uh, very fall like with some turkeys some pheasants looks quite vintage if you ask me I thought these were really nice these little dessert dishes in the amber color and in the sage green these were really cute they were really good size and here for all you antique lovers this was a really sweet picture of a quail or a pheasant I'm not even sure what it was but it looked like you know it's a pheasant quails are smaller and I thought this was a really nice brass turkey. I don't usually have a lot of turkeys <laughs> around the house at Thanksgiving, except for the one we eat, but it was very nice. Now here is something that I love. I love that finish. I think they call it crazing, and it looks very antique vintage. I have one in the kitchen right now in a blueprint, so here's one in green and rust. Lots of jars. Now I'm not sure what this was. I think it's something you hang on the wall. Maybe like a hook. They had lots of baskets. Now this was this was quite different. This copper, sort of like, almost like a dough bowl, the shape of a dough bowl. I always thought it was a really cute idea when people put apples, fake apples or real apples in their kitchen in these baskets. I'm not doing a very good job showing you the prices. This was a really nice uh, print at the back there with the artichokes on it. These were like sort of some kind of, I guess just something for a book shelf, a tabletop, some copper colored chargers. They were acrylic though. different sizes of glass pumpkins. I have to admit, I'm not feeling the summer this year. It's just not right. It's either too hot or it's raining. We've had so much rain. My flowers don't look that great because it's, it's almost overwatered them. And plans for beaches have gone right out the window every time we plan a day to go it rains so I'm not thrilled and I'm not interested in fall not yet even though I love fall I still need my summer these are really pretty those candlesticks And now on the other side, there was a lot more fall decor in different kind of colors. You know I'm a neutral girl, so of course I'm looking at this white acorn. These were really pretty, these little mason jars for $9.99. You get your 40% off. These little, little uh, tin buckets were cute in aluminum, white, and orange, sort of like a rusty orange color. These were cute little salt and pepper shakers. And of course, the famous uh, Michael's pumpkin mugs. This was a really cute little candy dish or a little serving dish. I walked around the corner and look who greeted me, this cute little squirrel with his big acorn. They had lots of buckets of fall florals. There's a lot of nice flowers at Michael's. Now 
Now I saw this little rolled up garland and I liked the uh, the texture of it, but it was sort of expensive. $23 for six feet. It didn't look like much. Some more baskets for the wall. They had a few garlands. Um, I took to the, of course, the eucalyptus one here in the green and the one in the cream color. Now this was really nice. I think I might get this and it was, um, a pre-lit branch garland and it would be really good on a mantle even on your your kitchen table on a bookcase on your console in the hallway they had a light colored wood and a darker colored wood It's called a Hippie Halloween, and it's something new at Michael's that I've never seen before. I'm not too sure what I think of it. There are a lot of cute little pieces. I guess it's more for a fun Halloween. I thought these were funny looking. Mostly in uh, pink and orange. I thought this was so beautiful. It just reminded me of the 70s. And look at these cute acrylic ghosts. I think a lot of these pieces would look so good in the teenager's room.
So on my way home, I stopped off at HomeSense and I just had to take a look to see what they had. And I found these really cute witches hats and rattan. They had a lot of different sizes of mushrooms. They had this cute little squirrel, some pumpkins, and some different sizes of uh, mushrooms, some short, some tall, some in clusters, and I even found a skull. So friends, this is getting closer to the end of the video. I just thought I'd take you along on a fun time, and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now, and thanks so much for watching.